here is another one of our garage building videos and this one we're going to go over the firewall and I don't think I have drawn one in any of the previous videos however somebody mentioned it and I thought it would be a good idea to point out the fact that you might need some type of a barrier in case the lower or the upper section catches on fire so what we're going to need will be a wall, 2x4, 2x6, metal studs for the framing, and a one-hour fire separation, which will usually consist of 5 8 type X drywall and a one-hour minimum rated fire door. And this wall might require a footing, otherwise you might be able to build it right on top of the slab. Again, like the rest of my videos in the series, you might be required to get building permits and structural engineering calculations, along with your local fire department's approval also for a project like this one here. So again, the fire wall is a barrier that might help somebody who was trapped upstairs actually get out of the building instead of being trapped. So if we had a fire start down here, then in reality, this door isn't going to do you much good. You're not going to come down the stairs and then go through your one hour fire rated door into a fire that could be burning out of control already, suggesting that this setup right here might not be approved by your local building department. So the barrier for upstairs is going to consist of something on the ceiling, type X one hour fire rated drywall, along with the wall that I was talking about. And keep in mind that I'm suggesting a one hour rating. You might need a higher rating depending upon your local building codes and how the building is going to be used. Now keep in mind that I have the door opening in this direction here. Most fire rated doors are usually going to open out or in the direction of travel for those running out of the building. But again, like I already suggested, this probably won't work bringing me to my next suggestion, and that would be installing an additional door that would lead outside of the building. Another thing that might be required will be different types of door opening and closing hardware, along with self-closing door devices to prevent people from leaving the doors open. And the reason for most of this should be obvious by now. The building's on fire, you're running down the stairs, you're not gonna go out this door here into the garage that hopefully is closed and preventing the fire from getting into this area here where the stairs are. And if the door is installed per building codes, it's probably going to have an automatic door closer on it. But this doesn't mean you can't drive a wedge under the door or somehow have it opened or even disconnect the automatic door closer. But you're not going to do that because all of this now makes sense to you. You now understand why we have fire rated walls, doors, and ceilings. So another thing you're going to need to consider when building a two-car garage with a loft or living space above it. 